All right, so this is going to be your foldable. Um, I, I kind of made a model here. So your interface, which we'll be discussing the first part of, should be right here in the middle. And when I say to write your definitions down, you will put like prophase on the out, because when you um, print this out or you make your own, um, you're going to want to put these flaps like that. You're going to fold it over. And then when you open it up, there's going to be a middle place. And the middle place is going to be your interface. And then this outside part right here is going to be where you're going to draw your diagrams. But on the flaps, you're going to write the um, term here. And then you're going to put the definition back here. And then you're going to have term, definition, term, definition, term, definition, term, definition. And the definition is going to go right here on the back of the flap. Okay? The term's going to go in the front. And then in the middle, okay, in the middle part of your thing is going to be your um, your interface. And then this outer part is going to be your diagram for each one of the phases. So when you shut it, when you shut it, you should only see prophase, diagram, metaphase, diagram, um, anaphase, diagram, telophase, diagram, cytokinesis, di cytokinesis, diagram. Okay? And when you open it up, you're going to have the definitions underneath here. And then when you open up your foldable completely, you're going to have your metaphase, your your interface in there. Okay? So that's how it should should be um, when you do this. All right. We are going to discuss um, for our lecture. <laughs> it's kind of bizarre, but um, we're going to be discussing cell division. And um, you're going to be taking notes on mitosis. And you're going to be taking these notes on a foldable. And um, so let's go through the PowerPoint right now. So cell division, mitosis. Cell division is a process by which a cell divides into two new cells. Why do cells need to divide? Well, Living things grow by producing more cells, not because each cell increases in size. So a cell will die, apoptosis, and you need other cells to replace it. So you have to produce more cells. Also, a cell can become damaged, and you need to repair these damaged cells. And... Um, there's a process that a cell will go through, and we'll talk about that later, that has um, checkpoints to also know if the cell is doing okay, and if it's not, it can terminate the cell. So you're going to constantly need cells to repair um, the damaged ones. Also, if a cell gets too big, it may not be able to get nutrients into the cell and waste out of the cell. So there's just a lot of different reasons why apoptosis occurs or why um, cell death will occur and there needs to be other cells to replace these cells. So the next one is saying that the original cell is called the parent cell. The two new cells are called the daughter cell. And you have to think this is pretty interesting because as you know of what we went through before the cell has a lot of different um, components um, within it, within itself. And one of those components is the DNA. And cell division, before it occurs, it has to replicate the copy of all the DNA. So each daughter can get a complete set of genetic information. And that's really remarkable that cells are able to do this. And there's so many things going on. And the amount it takes for the cell to replicate is also pretty amazing. The other thing is the cell will know if there's a mutation and it'll say, oh, you know, I don't think that was a good one and it will terminate it. Um, so there's a lot of checks and balances, hopefully, within a healthy body. 
And um, when the daughter cell is produced, it's going to be exactly like the parent cell, the same kind of number of chromosomes. And this is just really, really an amazing process. So you're, this is going to be on one of the notes that you're going to take. And um, when we talk about the interphase here in a little bit, so, but right now, a cell cycle is a series of events the cells go through as they grow and divide. Cells grow, prepares for division, then divides, each of which then begins to cycle again. So it's a cycle, is what they're saying here. There is a cycle going on. And we're going to talk about that cycle right now. And um, we're going to go through the cycle of interphase, which is what the cell spends the majority of its time in. And then we're going to talk about each of the stages of division, um, which is mitosis. So interphase, and get prepared because you're going to need to take notes here in a little bit. Interphase is a period of cell growth and development. You may want to write that down um, in the place of the foldable that it's designated. It's a period of cell growth and development, DNA replication. Copying occurs during interphase. During interphase, the cell also grows, carries out normal cell activities, and replicates all other organelles. The cell spends the most of its life in interphase, as I said before. So when we were looking at the diagram right here, the majority of, the phase, um, the majority of it is interphase. But I want to look at this diagram right here. Um, this is, um, you should be prepared right now because we're going to be going through each one of these. So this is G1. Cellular contents excluding the chromosomes are duplicated. So, you know, you've got your cell, cellular contents, right? Um, uh, maybe you can name a couple of those. So there's some um, organelles and things like that within the cell, right, that we've discussed before. Um, in the S phase, each of the chromosomes are duplicated. So it's, it's getting prepared. And then the G2 phase, that's when there's a checks going on. They check if there's any duplicated chromosomes for error, making any needed repairs. So again, for G1, um, just real quick right underneath, um, the cellular contents, but not the chromosomes are being duplicated. In the S phase of interphase, the um, 46 chromosomes are duplicated by the cell. And in the G2 phase, that's when the cell is checking checking to make sure um, for errors and anything that may need it to be re for repairs because we would not want the two daughter cells to contain errors that would probably not be good for our function right as um, living beings all right so that's the interface so now we're going to get into mitosis and um, you're going to be writing down each one of these phases on the flap. And then when you turn the flap around, you're going to be writing the definition of each one of these phases. So mitosis is, um, and this is not one of them, but mitosis, this is a definition of mitosis. It's a division of the nucleus into two nuclei, each with the same number of chromosomes. Mitosis occurs in all of the somatic, somatic cells. So what are somatic cells? Let's think about that. We've discussed this before, but I'll just um, say it one more time. Somatic cells are the body cells, not um, what is necessary for sexual reproduction. So somatic cells maybe be epithelial cells, like on your skin, um, hair, um, a lot of different body, all the cells of your body, um, not the cells necessary for sexual reproduction because as we're going to see that would be meiosis not mitosis so why does mitosis occur mitosis occurs so each new daughter cell has a nucleus with a complete set of chromosomes and as we know to um, replace any cells that have to go through cell death and um, all of that so the four phases of nuclear division and you may want to get ready because you need to write down um, each one of the, you need to draw a picture for each one of these. So it says draw a diagram here. Um, so prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. All right? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase.
PMAT. And you're going to notice there's a fifth one. So for right now, just focus on those four, prophase, metaphase, interphase, and telophase. And when we get into the fifth one, you can draw your diagram for that. So on the side, it says draw your diagrams. You should be drawing your diagram for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, PMAT. All right, and we can go back in later and, and fine tune. So just do a, 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 a sketch, a diagram of prophase, which has the spindles here. Okay, and then we've got metaphase, and here they are lining up on the plate. And we've got anaphase, and there they are um, being separated. Then we got the telophase. All right. All right, prophase. So if you didn't get the one fixed before, this is a good time. Um, prophase, chromosomes coil up, nuclear envelope disappears, spindle fibers form. So you're gonna write, wanna write that down on, so you're gonna have your flap and on the front of it, put down prophase. When you, behind where you put prophase, write this down. Chromosomes coil up, nuclear envelope disappears, spindle fibers form. All right, so next we've got metaphase. Chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. Spindle fibers connect to chromosomes. So this is a diagram. And you should have metaphase written in the front part of the flap. And then on the back of it, it should say chromosomes line up in the middle of cell. Spindle fibers connect to chromosome. Anaphase, chromosomes, so you're going to have one side says anaphase, on the other side, chromosomes, copies, divide, spindle fibers, pull chromosomes to the opposite poles. So anaphase on one side, on the other side, chromosomes, copies, divide, spindle fibers, pull chromosomes to opposite poles. And the underlined parts, you really want to take care of those. Telophase. You should already have the diagram drawn, but on one side you're going to write telophase, and then chromosomes uncoil, nuclear envelope forms, two new nuclei are formed, spindle fibers disappear. Chromosomes uncoil, that's an important word, uncoil, nuclear envelopes form, two new nuclei are formed, spindle fibers disappear. I guess that's important. All right. This is the one I said that this is the fifth one. This is cytokinesis. This is the division of the rest of the cell. So the division of the rest of the cell. Cytoplasm and organelles after the nucleus divides. Okay. Um, so I want you to draw this diagram right here because we're going to be talking about animal, animal cells. So in animal cells, the cytoplasm pinches in. After mitosis and cytokinesis, the cell returns to interphase, right? So the very the fifth one should have this, and it should look like cytokinesis. The cells are pinching off. The cytoplasm is pinching in, but they're um, going to separate into two new daughter cells. So look at that. Isn't that an interesting picture, right? Um, right here, and then two new daughter cells. I think this is right here is a very interesting picture. While you're finishing up your um, cytokinesis, and there we are. Summary: You've got a cycle here, as you can say. You got interphase, um, mitosis, cytokinesis, interphase, mitosis, cytokinesis. Right. When cells become old or damaged, they die, and they are replaced with new cells. And here's another, um, some help for your diagram. They should start to look um, like something you drew here. And 
here we go. Here's an, another thing that should be helpful. Kind of check for the notes that you had. Interface. Um, that should be on your diagram, DNA replication. Remember the part that is, um, it replicates the organelles, which was G1, and then you have your S, which is for your, that replicates your chromosome. And then you have the next phase, which it's checking itself, right? And then prophase, chromosomes coil up, nuclear envelope disappears, spindle fibers form. Metaphase, chromosomes line up in the middle. Okay, anaphase, the chromosome copies divide and move apart. That's what you should have on the on the back. T um, telophase, chromosomes uncoil back into chromatin. Then cytokinesis, right? They pinch in, and then you get two daughter cells. And you should have your notes taken. And if you need any... Um, if you need to go back to a slide, let me know. Or I guess in this case you can review it. And that's it. Uh-huh. Let me know.